Good morning, it is Sunday, August 14th, and look at how big Herbert Lemon is getting. I still haven't come out <laughs> to trim him back. I need to give him a haircut so that I can get some of this dried out. Look how much tea I'm going to have. So much lemon balm tea. Love it. Also, super excited about this. Look how big our carrots are getting. They're finally doing something. They're probably going to be all weird and wonky because they are planted too close together and I did not thin them. I told you I wasn't going to. And <laughs> so if we have weird carrots, it's fine. As long as I have carrots to eat, I'm good. These ones are small. They're, they're struggling. Ones on the bottom, as you go down, they get worse. So I don't know. But I mean, this is the second to last level. This is the last level. So the very bottom is really the only one that's Super bad. But you can see as I come around the corner, here's what I see. Look at all the flowers on the zucchini plant. It's trying so hard. They're everywhere. It's, it wants to it wants to do something so bad. Does. Another one over here. Yeah. Squash has got one on too. I'm gonna just search these watermelon plants thoroughly and see if we have any watermelons trying to form. I keep pushing that up. I believe time to pick some potatoes. They're ready. Especially that one. that finger again, sorry guys. Oop. How's he looking? If I don't pick you, you're gonna get knocked off. It's, it's looking pretty dark out today, like it's gonna storm, I don't know, maybe not. It's got a little bit of blue. Let's see. I gotta get some of these tomatoes picked out of here. Let's see what we got, a couple more over here. I'm gonna leave that other one. It's got too much. Uh, completely turned yet. So we're gonna leave it. Not see anymore. All right, so off the one potato plant, I got these three t potatoes. I got it here on my curing thing. I got all the onions we grew curing here. Uh, my dad gave me this one and this one. And then we got, I don't even know, probably two dozen little seed potatoes. Most of them were bumpy. This one was nice and smooth and round, so I kept it because I was like, yeah, it'll go in a canning jar or whatever. Um... But uh, just off that one potato, first time ever growing potatoes for me, guys. I've never actually been successful at growing potatoes. So I actually have some potatoes this year, which is cool. And that's just that one plant, and we have all the others to pick, you know. So we might actually get an okay amount of potatoes. I'm kind of happy with that. Um, yeah, and I have all the seed potatoes I just left in the ground for next year. 
So they'll just come up in the spring and start growing and doing their thing as soon as the weather is ready for them to do it. So that's how I'm going to do that. I'm just going to store them in the ground. Um, and then that way once it warms up, they can start growing. Like as soon as it's time, go. One, two, three, go. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see how that goes. I really didn't want to put them in a flower bed. Or in one of my raised beds, I wanted to keep them in the the pots, but it is what it is. I may end up going out and digging them out, digging them back out, and storing them inside for the winter, just so that I can put them in my growing bags because it is easier to pick them. And in those raised beds, especially the reclaimed ones, they still have springs because they were box springs, and I'm concerned that I'm going to end up with. Uh, potatoes with springs growing through them and that does me no good at all so I'll have to wait and see what happens I can make banana bread today I'm gonna try making it in my air fryer don't know how that's gonna go but wish me luck <laughs>